What's up, party people? G5 Productions in a place to be Superman first class in the mix. And today, I'm going to get into a help type of video with the flare kind, and that is programming shows. Let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald, excited to share with you all once again. Now, this video is a little bit unorthodox, no titles and none of that. I'm really just going to get right into this flare kind. So it's like a follow-up to how I program shows from the first video I did. But with this one, it's more like a follow-up to a problem that some of my people who are following this video uh, are running into. And what I think the problem is, so I'm going to kind of help you troubleshoot. That's what it's really about here. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want to keep up with all the videos, just go ahead and rock that bell. Let's get to work. So in my video, how to create shows with the Flarecon and the Freedom Par Hex Force, um, I already talked about how to connect the iPad to the Wi-Fi of the Flarecon, making sure that the uh, app is on the right channel, matching the Wi-Fi channel of the Flarecon. I also talked about how to set up the Flarecon to transmit on the same channel as the lights. Now, all that is different. Uh, conversations between the three the ipad the flare kind and the lights just go back and watch that video um, when you get a chance but what i'm doing here is there's a problem created with setting up shows now it doesn't matter if you have the old flare con or the flare con 2 uh, they both pretty much have the same menu except flare con 2 is a lot more updated technology wise like it's wireless you can charge it and um this one I have to plug it in, and this one has a DMX out regular size. Flarecon 2 has like a mini DMX out or something like that. Uh, so, so it's a little just different physically, but same concept. So here's the deal. I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi of the Flarecon, so I'm just going to open up my Flarecon app here. And what I'm going to do is go to select the Freedom Port Hex 4s. And this is what my friend is running into an issue with programming. So to keep things simple, now in my video, I had these DMX addressed as channel one, then channel seven, and also before this was on channel 13, and then this was on channel 19. Now the reason they were addressed that way because I wanted individual control of four different lights in a series. After that, I could have pulled out 20 more lights and DMX addressed them accordingly, 1, 7, 13, 19, and they would just respond the same of how I programmed these four. But in my friend's case, my friend is only wanting to program two lights with alternating colors and want all the other lights as he set them up to match the settings of the first two lights. Um, he want them to follow suit with that. So here's what we have to do. Rather, I set out two lights, four lights, 10 lights, 20 lights. As long as all of these lights are in six channel mode and my very first light starts on DMX channel one, which is here, then the next light will have to be in six channel mode as well. And of course, DMX channel seven. Now after that, all your lights should be one, then seven, then one, then seven, and so forth and so on for however many fixtures you're going to use in your room. All right, so now that we talked about that, here's the deal. I'm making sure that the flare con here is in six channel mode. You do have a choice between six, eight, and 12 with these particular lights, but we're gonna remain in six channel mode. The DMX starting address is channel one because the very first light I'm using is DMX as channel one, right? And then of course the count. Now here's where uh, some people get confused. Even though I have physically four light fixtures here, um, you're tempted to want to put, oh, how many lights do I have here? And you put four. But the problem is, this is what it does. If you put four in there and you pick a color, say we pick the first square well naturally all four lights are going to turn red so in your mind you're thinking well if i go back and i change this to three lights and i pick another color well 
only three of the lights should pick that color, right? But look what's going to happen. Let's pick green here. All four lights turn green. Now here's why all four lights turn green. Although I have four lights here and I told the app, I only want three of these lights to change color. Well, the problem is I'm only using two different DMX addresses. So basically to get this alternating color, every other color thing going on with just two lights and two colors, well, what has to happen is you should start here on two lights. So basically, although I have four lights present, remember we're DMX as channel one, DMX seven, DMX one, DMX seven. So I'm really telling the app, I'm only operating on two different DMX channels. That's really in essence what that means. So if we go back here and, and I say, go back to the red, well, all the lights are going to change red like so and then if i go back with the arrow here and change it to number one it's going to only affect one of the dmx channels so let's go green all right so here we go green now why did only these two lights change green and not these two dmx address one dmx address seven DMX address one, DMX address seven. So now we have created the scene we want. Let's go in here and save that. So you back out and over in the left, we're gonna press this circle with the plus sign in it. And I'm going to create on scene four, okay? Because I'm already up to three scenes I created before this video. Scene four, and uh, I'm gonna let it hold for, um, four seconds. That's how long the, the light's going to stay that color. And I'm going to make a fade time of one second. So that's how long that light is going to take to change color when I create the next scene, right? So let's say add new. Boom. So we're adding new to scene uh, four. So I started with uh, red, then green. I know it's weird, right? So we started with red then green, but now we're going to start with green, then red. So we have to tell it, hey, I'm affecting two separate DMX address channels, and we're going to start with green this time. So now all four of these lights are green because the two separate DMX channels are affected with the color that I picked. Now I'm going to go back out of here. And I'm going to now change it to one, which now only one of the DMX addresses are going to be affected. So we're going to change that to red. Now, uh, as you can see, it used to be red, green, red, green. Now it is green, red, green, red. So to save that to uh, scene four, what I'm going to do is back out with the arrow, go to my circle with the plus symbol and press it. Now, as you can see here, we are still on scene four, but now it says step one, right? And we're gonna hold it for four seconds and fade time of one second. I'm just gonna leave it, so I'm adding new. All right, so I just created uh, two steps on scene four. So let's back all the way out of here and go all the way up to where our shows are. And we're gonna pick shows. And when these load, remember I was dealing with scene four, right? So watch what happens on scene four when I press that. So let me back out and get you guys a more of a visual so you can see everything going on and boom. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, and they fade like so. And they'll hold for four seconds and then they're gonna fade. So let's catch the next fade and count. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. And it's only taking one second to fade. So that may be the solve to the issue that I think some people are having according to what I was described from those persons 
Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think or if this was helpful. Now, uh, the last piece of this video is I'm going to stop the show. And if you want to edit the show, right, then all you have to do is um, pick the show you actually want to edit. So we just created scene four here. And let's say we want that to go a little bit faster, right? So now maybe we're in party mode and we just want to edit that scene, right? Or we don't like that scene. So let's make it hold for two seconds. And step two, we'll make it hold for two seconds as well. And for the fade time, let's make it um, zero. I just want this thing to like go crazy nuts and just snap at it, right? So we're going to say, okay. And now let's see what scene four looks like now that I've made the whole time and the uh, uh, fade time different. Two seconds. Snap. 1001, 1002, 1001, 1002. See how it just snaps in place? And we can make it the whole time less, which means they would just be like, boom, 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 you know, back and forth. So that's it, everybody. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So that's it for this video, everybody. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And just to do a quick recap, you have to make the app recognize in the count how many actual DMX addresses you have. Not so much lights. It's really um, the count is of the different DMX addresses. And whatever mode you're in, if you're in six channel mode and you start with DMX channel one, you add the mode to the number of DMX. So that's why this is DMX addressed as seven. If you wanted this light to have a different DMX address, you add the mode six to the number seven, and that will give you DMX channel 13. And if you add the mode six to that, this will give you DMX channel 19. So that's all explained more so in the first video. But then in that case, your count would be four because you have four different DMX addresses. But when you only have two DMX addresses, like in this case of one, seven, one, seven, then in the app, when you are doing your count, it's all in the matter of telling it, I only have two different DMX addresses, not so much two light fixtures, because as you can see here, I have four separate light fixtures here, but in my count right here, I only have two DMX addresses that will affect these lights. So that's it, everybody. So there it is. One more time. Go down to one now. Pick a new color. And there we go. So if you guys are liking these videos and they are helpful to you, please go ahead and smash that like button. Consider subscribing and to keep up with all these videos. All you got to do is rock that bell. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting. Shout out to my man, Michael, and anybody else who are um, following us and helping support our channel and helping the G5 Nation grow. That's it, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.